Hey everyone and welcome to another SEO tutorial. This one is about Pinterest and the latest change where they're allowing the alt tag, that's A-L-T. They're now allowing an alt tag value. And you can do that to old pins that you've already created or you can do them to new pins. So I'll just show you how that is. So here we are inside of uh, a business account for Pinterest and I apologize for the blurring here. But if we click right here on the edit, since we have a pin open, we're going to click on the edit tab and this is for an existing pin. We'll click on it. Right, and up pops this and here's the interesting part. Right now they're allowing an alt text. So we can come in here and we can add things and this alt tag of course it's relatively new for Pinterest so we're not exactly sure how Pinterest is going to use it nor are we exactly sure how it will change rankings for Google but certainly it follows logical sense from just from SEO 101 that it is good to put something accurate, right? We don't just want a keyword stuff here, but we do want to put an accurate amount and use the keywords that are appropriate. So, all right, if this is about home remodeling and bath and we want to do this in this specific area, maybe we would put that, right? We put home improvement, and then maybe we put whatever. I mean, you would use your own town name in here. Maybe you'd even put in your zip code. All right, so that's how you do an existing one. And I'll show you when you add a new one how to find this alt. All right, so here we are inside of Pinterest, inside of a business where we've gone ahead and we're ready to create a new pin. And if you're unfamiliar with how to get there, once you're logged in, you just go ahead and click on this create, and then you can click on create pin. And of course, this is from a desktop version. All right. So all this old stuff is, is all here, right? How to add the image, or if you want to grab the uh, image from a site, you have to put the URL in here, your destination link or something you put, uh, your other information. But the new part for this from SEO is to add the alt text, and that's right here. Of course, if we just put our mouse over it and click, all right, it'll give us, and we'll see here that it gives us a 500 character max. Right? And that's probably going to be more than enough, and again, we want to be able to add some keywords in here but we don't want to overdo it so we want to be accurate so right if this is about uh, car repair right in a certain town right, we could always put that and then again we could probably put the zip code and if it's you know maybe it's even something specific like uh, brake repair all right so this is a, another great SEO tip to help you grow do one more thing as Pinterest has brought out a new thing and this is as of December in 2020 all right so if you're not seeing this quite yet maybe you should be able to see it soon but understand it's probably good solid SEO 101 to make sure that you add the alt value for your Pinterest pins both new ones and ones that were in the past and if you're thinking the same thing we are Wow, if you've got a lot of Pinterest pins out there, this could be a lot of work, and that's very true. right? But understanding it's a new concept that's out there for you, that Pinterest is giving a new thing, and that's allowing to add the alt tag. All right, thanks, and I hope this helps.